And talking about Rancid, and I want to get some clarification on this, but I think these are absolutely terrible. And I'm really sad and saddened by this because I love the shoe and I love Tom Sachs. And obviously, most of you know that I've got the original Marty Yards and I still want to get these GPSs, but I never ended up getting around to getting a pair. But this new colorway that's being pushed out there is legitimately one of the worst things I've seen in my entire life. The original GPS colorway shoe I thought was pretty cool. I thought it was pretty muted when it went in line with the design ethos of Tom Sachs and Tom Sachs Studio and what they're trying to push in terms of not having shoes be precious, having people out there actually wear them. I actually liked it and I thought they were kind of a good, you know, evolution from what they were doing prior. And maybe some people would argue they're maybe boring, but I liked what they were doing with it. But this colorway of a shoe, this all brown monstrosity is legitimately one of the worst things I've seen in my entire life because it's not quite ACG. Um, it's not quite, you know, GR, but it sits in some weird place. It's got this weird look to it because I think ACG Brown, which you'd see on kind of Lava Doms and Lavars and um, every Verdurchis and stuff, like you see this kind of browny colorway. It's kind of accented or broken up with bits of bits of slate, bits of gray, bits of green, like just to kind of mix up a little bit. But this whole just like let's just dip this in some shit and put it out there is absolutely horrendous. And I think my theory, just a theory from a guy on the outside looking in. I don't think these are colorways that are Tom Sachs approved. I have a feeling for whatever reason down the line, which is again, standard Nike procedure, right? They have an absolute hit on their hands with the Mars Yard. We have, you know, a legit design collaboration with a legit design studio that's got a lot of its own clout, recognition, fame, hype and variety behind them. You've got a guy that clearly cares about creating an entire world and immersive universe around these shoes that only add to the variety and the selloutness and whatnot and the hype around the shoe that's obviously going to lead to their stock going up and shoes selling out and queues everywhere and all that viral marketing it's all in hand it's all ready to go and he's willing to do new interesting things and not just take an air max and strip it with this you know of a midsole or whatnot he's actually creating a kind of quasi new shoe from the ground up and making that work and whatnot it's all cool interactive shit he's getting kids to send in applications and ideas on why they should wear the shoe and be wear test models like all these really cool interesting things really really amazing and then somehow because they got all this authority and control you don't like that and you take it away from them and you place it in the hands of these nike designers who for whatever reason don't know a good colorway when it smacks them in the ass right it's always kind of regurgitating the retros or the old color from back in the day that were done really well but these newer designers don't seem to be able to put good colorways together and I've got a feeling these colorways of this night of this um, Nike craft general purpose shoe are colorways that have been selected by Nike in-house designers and not stuff that's been done by Tom Sachs and his crew. Maybe that first iteration of the GPS shoe was something sorry, of the general purpose shoe, Nike craft general purpose shoe was the one that was done by Tom Sachs team, the first colorway. But I feel like this brown monstrosity is definitely something Nike did because it looks so bad. It looks so shit. It looks so horrible. And I hate everything about it. And it's annoying because now it's making me hate the shoe. The color is so bad. You know, sometimes you see a color of a shoe of a shoe you don't like and it makes you buy it. The opposite can happen too. You can see a shoe that you like and a colorway that you don't like and then suddenly it looks horrible. Suddenly you see the wrong person wearing it. It's like the Air Max Nike, the Nike Air Max 270. I thought that was a decent shoe. Then suddenly when all the, you know, people in my area who I want to describe where they're from were like wearing them, suddenly the, you know, the kind of appeal and the coolness of them went all the way down to the ground until it went underground and now it's completely over. So those things can happen to shoes very quickly. And I feel like the same thing is going to happen to this general purpose shoe. I'm going to start seeing these tied up extra tight. I'm going to see some donut wearing these with extra wide trousers, you know, smoking a flipping roll up ciggy or something or drinking some natural wines. And I'm going to be like, Ugh, and I'm not going to want to buy it myself because they look absolutely horrendous and I'm really, really pissed off. But I have got a feeling that this is a colorway that Nike designs are putting together, this absolute brand monstrosity. But if you do want to purchase them, it says here the field brown this is meant to be field brown it's just like shit brown to me or maybe danny brown <laughs> no <laughs> it's said to release on the fifth via nike and select the retailer similar to previous colorways the pairs are set to retail at 110 um after the original studio colorway was restocked last month they have been coming releases what's that what's that region? let's see this let's look at the original colorway because that brown one is that as you saw it's fucking shocking in my opinion 
look at this original colorway compared to that and again original colorway isn't that great again compared to the original mars yards themselves but this shits all over whatever you just saw previously so my theory is that this particular colorway here right in front of you this colorway which is described as what um this nike described colorway is described as studio colorway we don't actually have any more details regarding it but it's just a studio this actual colorway which is kind of a mixture of creams whites and you know a bit of solid brown and a black outsole with some nice blue essence on the pool tabs this is something that was designed in-house by the tom Sachs team but that horrible brown monstrosity you saw me post before that i was talking about is definitely something made by nike team themselves but this is tom's that's nike and i think for whatever reason maybe because nike are flipping obsessed with having control and having their fingers and everything and having oversight and everything maybe they've pulled away some of their privileges and maybe kind of reined it in and allowed the designers to do it and clearly the designers aren't as good as tom Sachs designers because you know it's fucking tom Sachs. and now we've got this horrible shit in those brown ones which i absolutely hate and i think they look awful they even called Field Brown Colorway, which is absolutely horrendous name. I don't think all brown shoes like this should ever work unless you're going to be making an all brown, like a curry dunk type of style shoe. That's maybe the only way it works, but these brown monstrosities are horrible. I hate everything about them. Um, I hope they never existed, and I'm theory that I put out there is I think these are made by the Nike design team, hence why I hate them. But yeah, what can you do? Good things don't last forever, innit? Good things don't last forever.